This is the garage overhead door video. This is the control button. I am vertically challenged. So if I'm looking down at this, you know it's a lot closer to the floor than it is, than it is five feet. These buttons, the control buttons, should be a minimum of five feet off the garage floor so little hands don't come up. And there should be a warning notice posted on this door. A lot of times it has an illustration like of a kid being squashed or something like that. A lot of times it does. So we come along here on our door. <laughs> These are our optic sensors. And they are not supposed to be farther from the floor than six inches. Otherwise, a cat can crawl underneath there, or a kid can crawl underneath there, or whatever. These are our spring tension notices. That's a good thing. And speaking of spring tension, you see notice that the door is halfway up and halfway down. It's because the spring tension is adjusted properly, and so it's holding the door right there in the right place. So it's been adjusted properly. So we come over here. These are spring tension notices on the corners of the first panel of both doors. On the first panel, both corners. And the first panel of the door, and this is our warning notice, kind of like the one that hasn't been seen over there where the control button is. This one doesn't have an illustration, but if you read it, it says, do not permit children to operate garage door controls, that kind of thing. And we're coming along here, this is our emergency release, but we're supposed to have a handle on that. You're not supposed to just be able to pull it like that. You're supposed to have a handle on that. And this is our courtesy light, and of course it's working. This is GFCI protected. Okay, because it's over here on this GFCI, if you trip the GFCI. The light goes out, see? Light comes on. It should be labeled GFI, GFCI, but it's not. It's not that big of a thing. Not that many people are going to spend that much time up there. So what I've done, too close to the floor, no warning notice. Come on, talk to me. Well, come on, talk to us. No, that's off. That's on. It should re-engage. All right. There we go. See, it opens just fine, but I couldn't get it to close. I couldn't get it to close. Let's try it. Let's just push the button, see if it closes. It won't close. You take your finger off of it, it's, something's not, the optic sensors are out of adjustment. So we cannot do a block test on this. We, we know it has a safety reverse because it keeps kicking back into it. Well, that's about as close as I'm going to get it, or I'll pull the thing and I'll let it go with this. Right. They, no, they're not supposed to be pointed. They're supposed to be pointed towards each other. Oh, yeah. So, like a bit. so we've got warning notices. Uh, we've got spring tension notices on the corners of the door. We do not have a, we have a warning notice. We do not have a pull handle inside of the door. Our manual door lock has not been decommissioned. So you can lock the door. Maybe you saw a scary movie or something, and then somebody comes home and they didn't know you saw a scary movie and locked the door, and then they try to push the button in the car, and then it bends your door all up. So as long as the door opener is in use, and of course this one isn't right now, as long as the door opener is in use, and this should be, if you put a bolt in it, take this bolt out, move it around. Optic sensor is not supposed to be closer than six inches. I think I said that. I kind of got off of my stride here, I'm missing our pull handle. So we got all that. So that's our garage door opener.